हेलो स्टूडेंट्स टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू टीच यू चैप्टर 18 एंड 19 ऑफ योर इंग्लिश ग्रामर बुक क्विकली ओपन पेज 59 दैट इज चैप्टर 18 इन योर इंग्लिश ग्रामर बुक ओके फर्स्ट आई विल टीच यू चैप्टर 18 दैट इज गो गोस डू डज गो एंड गोस टेल अस वे आर समवन or something is going okay if we want to know where someone or something is going we use go and goes do and does tell us about what someone or something is doing now you need to know the few basic rules with singular nouns or pronouns we use goes or does okay like he goes she goes it goes ram goes he does she does it does ram does okay but with plural nouns and pronouns and i we use go or do now students keep this in your mind although i is a singular pronoun then also we use go or do with it okay it's a special case so you need to remember it like i go you go we go they go ram and shyam go similarly i do you do we do they do and ram and shyam do okay now let us see chapter 19 that is is rm and doing words plus ing here you already know where you have to use is where you have to use are and where you have to use am let me give you a quick revision is we use with singular noun or pronoun are we use with plural noun or pronoun and am we use with the pronoun i okay i hope you remember it now listen we can make new doing words by adding ing to them okay like laugh plus ing is laughing sleep plus ing is sleeping cook plus ing cooking read plus ing is reading it's very easy simply what you have to do you have to add ing to the doing word okay now let us see the book exercises for that you need to open page number 60 see the first exercise given on the top that is exercise a fill in the blanks using go or goes in exam also i will give the question from this chapter like this see the first one akash dash for a walk with his dog since akash is a singular noun that is there is only one person so we are going to use goes number 2 father father is a singular noun so we are going to use goes number 3 mohan and rama mohan and rama plural noun so we will use go okay likewise do the sentences it's quite easy similarly in exercise b you have to fill with do or does just see if any singular noun or pronoun is there then you will fill the blank with does and if any plural noun or pronoun is there and with i you will fill do like see the first one please dash your homework on time okay from you your has come and with you we use do so with your also we will use do okay number 2 she dash her homework in the evening she is a singular pronoun that is we are talking about one person one girl we are talking about so we will use does similarly third one we can do we is a plural noun okay do the exercises 
and check the answers from the answer key that I have attached in the Google Classroom. Now open page number 61 and see the exercise A. Fill in the blanks with the ing form of the doing words in the box. In the box, some doing words are given to you. What you have to do? You have to fill the correct doing word in the blank and you have to add ing to it. How? See the first one. He is dash cold. Here feel will come. But with feel, we will add ing. So it will become feeling. He is feeling cold. Similarly, the second one. I am dash my lunch. We eat our lunch. So here eat will come. And with eat, we are going to use ing. I am eating my lunch. So students in exam also, if such type of questions will come, then it will already be mentioned in the question that you have to add ing to the word. ing to the doing word you have to add. Okay, so no confusion will be there. Everything will be mentioned in the question. Let's see exercise B given on page number 62. Fill in the blanks with ing form of given doing words. So in the bracket here, some doing words are given. Now it's very, very easy. In the bracket, already doing words are given. And you just have to add ing and write it on the blank. See the first one. Devi is dashed to her mother. In the bracket, talk is given. Talk is given. You just have to add ing. So it will be Devi is talking to her mother. Birds are fly in the sky. Fly is there. You will add ing. It will become flying. Birds are flying in the sky. Okay. Likewise, you have to complete this exercise as well. Now, in the C exercise, along with the ing, along with the addition of ing to the doing word, you also have to add is, am, are. Now, you already know students that where you have to add is, am, are. Along with adding is, am, are, see the bracket word and add ing to it. Okay, like see the first one. I dash chocolate. In the bracket, doing word eat is given. So, here the pronoun is I. First, we will see which verb or which doing word is going to come here. Is, am or are. As I told you, with I, we use am. So, here we are going to use am. I am. Now, in the bracket, eat is given. We will add ing. It will become eating. So, the answer will be, I am eating chocolate. Similarly, the second one, they is there. It's a plural pronoun. So, we will use are. And to the verb, in the bracket, we will add ing. So, it will become sweeping. They are sweeping the floor. Third one, he. In third one, you can see. See the third one. It's written here. He dash in his bed. Now, he is a singular pronoun. So, with singular pronoun, we are going to use is. He is. From the bracket, we will use the word and we are going to add ing. He is sleeping in his bed. Quite easy. My mother is cooking delicious food. Sia is crying. The nurse is helping the old lady. Okay. Students, these two chapters are quite easy. All you need to do is understand the concept. And then the book exercises will be quite easy for you. Okay. So, check the answers from the Google Classroom and do the exercises by yourself. Students, see you all in the next class. Thank you.